Okay, my next guest needs no introduction. Please welcome country music legend and actress, Dolly Parton. <laughs> I, I have to help you with that. I, I, uh, well, they say it's a clip on. I want it. It is a clip on. I want it. I'll, I'll do it. It's just my honey, honey. <laughs> it's, it's just a, that my nails my wife, are so long. And yeah. All right. I. You know what? So I'm working. Big. I'm Ooh, working. Your here. hands are cold. Yeah. yeah it's on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now I want wow. you to use that wow. massager on me too. What? You want me to massage? <laughs> okay. You know what? I, it's my job to make Hi, it comfortable. Everybody. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Why? Hi, Goldie. Goldie, I feel. Goldie, you know Goldie. Well, Goldie is my friend and uh, the band leader over here. He right. was my musical director for years. Yes. We've traveled all over the world together. He's a it's dear, wow. dear person. Great to see you, Goldie. Yeah, good to see you too. Now, speaking of traveling all over the world, you travel all over the world, but you have one place, I don't know if you live near, Dollywood. Well, Dollywood is in East Tennessee, up where I was born and raised. Right. It's in a place called Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Pigeon Forge. Uh-huh. Okay. And we've been open uh, for 14 years. We're opening our 14th season on April the 17th and 18th. Right. And so it's a great place. So do you, have a, do you keep a home there? Well, I, ha I bought the old home place where I grew up with all my... Eleven brothers and sisters, you, and mom you and dad. Have that house? Yeah, I bought oh. the old place, which oh, wow. is great. And so I, when I when I'm up doing the Dollywood shows, it's 200 miles from Nashville, where I live now. Right. And so I go up, and all my folks still live there. And so we have great fun. This year we have um, the big roller coaster. The big roller coaster. Yeah, it's like one of those double loop. A double loop thing. thing. Yeah, it's a dolly Somehow thing. Somehow I like could big, picture it. Yeah. <laughs> some call them loops and some call them boops. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> And that is that the design you're carrying well, around with sorta, you? Yeah. <laughs> it's supposed to be like a butterfly. I just have one question. Okay. At, at what end do you get on? Anyway. No, I... <laughs> but now let me get serious. I, yeah, yeah. I, I got to promote Dollywood. No, properly. promote it. Yes. So this year our big feature is the roller coaster, and we're opening the Southern Gospel Hall of Fame and Museum, which is going to always be oh. the worldwide place there for Southern Gospel music. So on, I, in Dollywood. In is Dollywood, it? it'll be the home from now on of the Southern Gospel Museum. So this year I've also done a, a TNN special, a gospel show, the right. first I've ever done. Right. That'll be shown on April Fool's Day, so you can't forget that. Are you kidding on, us? It is on April 1st. <laughs> and so, uh, and then I did a gospel album that will be uh, sold only through Dollywood. And, uh, all the proceeds go to the help the children there through our Dollywood Foundation. Also, it's a charitable foundation. Yeah. Oh, that's so wonderful. So I'm done. That's, that's, that's all great. my commercials. <laughs> no, but that's wonderful that you yeah. do that kind of work. And we've uh, and we've always been involved with, with the children in the county there ever since we started. Well, I started that actually early in the 70s. You know what's amazing? You gave back because you started off not having anything, right? I've, I've read about you forever. You were incredibly <laughs> poor, right? Well, we were country people and a family of 12 kids, as I mentioned. And right. my dad was just a farmer and uh, later went to work on construction work. So there was not a lot of money. So it's been important to me that I give back. What's that picture? <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't look too poor there. No, that's a whole. Th oh, wow. That's you. That was me when I was about 17. Where'd they get that? I, well, I don't know yeah. where they got that from, but you know what? That's, you, that's a whole different look. Oh, I though. think it's in the book. Well, that was when I was trying to be sexy. I oh, you're 15 years old. I was, yeah, somewhere in there. Sexy. That was your, always that your was image? That was always my thing. Well, see, I always want, I was a poor country girl, and right. I always, you know, I just wanted to be more glamorous. I wanted to have, you know, the, what I considered, the, the, what they said was the trash in our hometown. You wanted to have the trash. how I wanted to look. You wanted to look like trash. Yeah, I didn't know that that, you know, I mean, I just liked that look, so. So you fashioned yourself after. after trash. After trash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's worked for me. It's like <laughs> So you this would, works for me. I enjoy it. I love dressing up and wearing all the paint and the powder and really do. You, and oh, all yeah. the time, wherever you go, you'll just do, in the morning you'll just yeah, put I on a I'm, lot of makeup and. Well, if I'm flopping around the house, you I'm, flop you know, in your house. Oh yeah. So you know, I don't just get. But if I'm going to see anybody, if I'm going to be out in public, right? You're not flopping. You'd never get me out out in the public where I might be seen, unless I'm dressed, because people expect to see. How me long does it take like you that? to? Uh, 
put the, the, the whole look together. Not long, because I wear a lot of wigs, so that's easy. So I can be ready and out of the house in 30 minutes. Really? Well, most women, yeah. Wow. I'm a quick change artist. I've been you at are. this a long time. You are. Now, I, I was noticing you we got, got your doll. Dolly. It's I haven't your doll. seen her dress. Yeah, you haven't seen her dress? Well, no, I've seen this little doll. We've always had it. I've had a dolly doll for years. But, oh, that's cute. I've got... I like that outfit. Yeah, and this is... I think is this a, was this... from an album cover. They've patterned this little dress from the... Uh, really? And we yeah. checked it before the show. Unlike uh, Ken, you're anatomically correct. <laughs> you are... Yeah. Yeah. And I hope they don't make me change it. Yeah, yeah. That's wonderful. And this is the other one. Now, you have to fill out a registration. You know what? With, we, when we got this, we got a card. You have to fill out a registration card. For the collector. Yeah, some of them are collector's items, and some of them are just fun little dolls. And just like me, all plastic. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's, those aren't real? Huh. Yeah, they're definitely real. Well, they're definitely, because you said real all plastic, something. and real. I thought they were real, and then you <laughs> kind of shocked me right they're here. They're real something. Oh, real something. <laughs> oh. Oh, you can just move right along. Okay, <laughs> thanks. I'm moving. <laughs> I was hard. just trying to be funny. <laughs> I don't have it's to It's hard say. to move along. I'm stuck here. You know, I remember, uh, speaking of that, I remember this room. You know this room? You've been in this room many, many times. This is the room where Johnny Carson yeah, was Yeah, I used to work with Johnny a lot. I, I loved him. People thought we were, like, really great friends friends because we you know we always but the only time I ever saw him was at the panel between commercials he well, you would, never saw him before the show he would always knock on my door right and always holler it's Johnny and I'd say I'll be out in a minute I'd never come out you never come out no and he knew that and I knew he knew I wasn't coming out and I knew he would always knock that was just our little thing really because you were in there and flopping for all around. those years I was flopping yeah <laughs> and so it was like then we'd get out here and it was like we we just kind of loved that little thing we had and it was like kind of oh, our little great. special he was magic great. it was magic I He's used to like well, so you. you were very funny on the show you. well thank you yeah. now you're on the road when you're on the road do you and your husband ever travel with you does he come on the road with you no he doesn't travel on the road he'll he in fact he was out here for a couple of months he comes out to la every january and february right. just to get out of the cold weather home but he he doesn't really like the show business scene it took him years to come see me because he was afraid i might mess up and he wouldn't know what to do and he'd feel helpless like a daddy watching <laughs> his kid or something right. but after he saw me the first time he saw i could handle it so there are times if if I'm like at a state fair right. or something performing, he will go mostly to see the fat hogs and the he'll see the fat know, hogs, the cattle, you know the this livestock show and stuff at the fair, and so then he'll come over and see see you. But first, before piggy. I see my wife, I want to see the pigs. <laughs> yeah, he does. He's a farm boy. He loves to see boy. all the tractors uh, and all the priority all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So well, you're gonna sometimes. are you gonna sing for us? Yes, I am. Okay. So I want everybody to stay where you are. We'll be back with more of Dolly Parton, and she's gonna sing for us. Stay right there. Come on. We're back. I'm talking to Dolly Parton. Dolly, we, we've been mentioning it. You look terrific. How do you stay thin? Are you on, like, a special diet? Are you on a... Well, it's not easy because I love to eat and right. I'm, I truly am a hog at heart. You're a hog that, at heart. I truly am. That's how you but get I, your husband to come see you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> the fat hog show, that's me. But actually, I lost a lot of weight, but now I keep my weight down eating the things I like because I hate diet food and I hate low calorie, tasteless food. So I eat what I like. I just eat small portions. Just, all day long so uh, so just like crumbs of it because well, just you, little amounts just like snack portions somebody all, told me you're eating like day. 10 meals a day or eight meals a day oh, i just eat whenever i feel like it i don't count the meals i just you know i just eat what i like and i just feel like if i don't eat at all like i used to oh really uh well it's working it for you keep yeah, it up it is it's i've actually had my weight down for a few years now you have well, you look but right. i tell you it's like when i get to heaven i hope it don't matter how fat you are because i'd love to get fat and <laughs> just <laughs> eat anything and i hope they have more so than you want to get up there for the good too. buffet right <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, i hope they have a big fat pork roast or something up there that i can just i'm sure they do I'm sure that, the sizzler, the, sizzler, yeah. the big sizzler in the sky. <laughs> now, uh, you started, somebody told me you started writing songs when you were five years old. I started making up songs before I could write. My mom always was fascinated with that because I always had a gift of rhyme. So I made stories about everything. I'd just write about mom and daddy or whatever. Now, do you remember any of those first songs? The that you... first song that mama kept that I, uh, 
It was a little cob doll. They used to make homemade toys for us, and we used to raise our own corn, and Daddy would take the corn to the mill. So we had all these cobs, and Mom would take the corn silk, and she'd make little dresses for these cobs and little faces and put the corn silk hair back on the doll right. and dress them in you know, little things, and they were cute. And so my little doll was named Tasseltop. So, tasseltop. Little tiny tasseltop. So I wrote the little song like, Little tiny tasseltop, I love you an awful lot. Corn silk hair and big brown eyes, how you make me smile. Little tiny tasseltop, I love you an awful lot. Hope you never go away, cause I want you to stay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Well, that is a gift. And you were five years old? That is Mama amazing. wrote it down. She used to keep all the, she has a big trunk of stuff that, you know, that we had. She was just always fascinated. I would have her to write, she'd just write stuff down. She'd hear me singing. And, well, and that's, is that me, how you I'll write? Think. How do you write? Yeah. I just make up stuff as I go. I write something almost every day. It's my fun, it's my joy and my job. So but you it's carry therapy. a pen and a, 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 a pad and just write down, it just hits you, you're yeah. just driving along and... Yeah, I have pencils and papers and tape recorders everywhere. I, I write a lot when I cook. I love to cook because that's also therapy, like in the mornings I'm an early riser. So I get up and I have a notepad by my bathtub. Right. I, I write when you I cook travel. cook in the bathtub? No, but I would uh, if I thought I could. <laughs> <laughs> what do you cook? I cook southern food mostly, like just down home country food, meatloaf, mashed potatoes, turnip greens. And I bring stuff I mean, out on my bus from free. Tennessee because I can't buy all the, like, the right cornmeal and stuff we get right. back home. So I have the big tour bus. So I'm always loading it underneath like where we used to carry the luggage right. when we were on the road a lot. So now I just have it full of like southern foods that I bring out here and put in my freezer. And then I always have my southern food. Well, that is cool. I've never had it. I, well, I would love to come to, over and I would love eat to. Sometimes. I've never even I had a grit. have a place here in L.A. So yes. You've never had a grit. I've never had a grit. I've never had any southern food. Well, a food. grit would be a very tiny little thing like a grain of sand. But, but that's what I do. You have some grits. You have Four to cook grits. a whole bunch of grits. It's well, like I'll come corn. over for a whole it's bunch of grits. Meal. Come over for a big old <laughs> wad of grits. I want you to sing a, a, a song that is, uh, you're going to sing a gospel song for us later. Yes. And it's going to be on your special on April yes. 1st, right? This is a song I wrote years ago, but this is from the special that'll be on TNN on April the 1st. Okay. And uh, so, so we're going to hear that a little. We'll hear that. We're oh, going to go okay. to commercial now. Right. Stay right where you are. And I want to mention uh, Do Dolly Parton, ladies and gentlemen. Dollywood opens its 14th season with a brand new roller coaster on April 17th. I want to mention that. And I got some SeaWorld animals coming out. You going to want to play oh, with animals? Oh, I like, don't know. You don't know? I don't know. We'll see. Well, I do. Let's, uh, let's play with some animals. Stay right where you okay, are. We'll I'll be right play. back. On the next Howie Mandel Show, Howie shares his favorite hidden camera videos. And now, here's Howie. Okay, get ready for some fun and education. Here to show us some interesting specimens from SeaWorld and Bush Gardens. Please welcome animal trainer Chuck Crow. <laughs> Uh, you've got something on you. Yes, this is... <laughs> it's a growth. No, this is Harry. He is a two-toed tree is Harry. sloth. Yes. It's a two-toed uh, tree sloth. Two-toed tree st sloth. There are three-toed tree sloths. But this is the two-toed. This is the two-toed. Not to be confused. Yes, they're found in South and Central America. Very slow-moving animals. Oh. Hence the name sloth. And actually, an interesting thing about them is that their hair out in the Amazon and right. the jungles, uh, they're so slow-moving that... Right. Algae grows on it. That's how slow they are. That's how slow they are. That's yeah. their claim to. What are you doing? Are he's coming nails. to you. He wants he's coming to, to me. You. Oh, he's yeah. going to you. Look at right the there. It's the two-toed sloth. I'm, I'm familiar. Oh, oh, oh. 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 This is, You go out with this, and people look at you and feel sorry about your son. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. He's nice. They spend about 15 hours a day sleeping. They spend 15 hours a day sleeping. And they're usually always up in the trees. They're arboreal, arboreal, which is uh, tree yes. dwelling. Yes. yes. <laughs> only time they come down is to go to the bathroom. And an interesting That's thing the is only they time think, they come down? They only go uh, to the bathroom once a week. How long has he been week. in the tree this week? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're kind of waiting here, so... No, uh, really? It may happen on my show <laughs> during sweeps. That may but be your alarm clock. That may... <laughs> <laughs> this is great. And you say this is uh, one of the slowest moving animals? Okay, one of the slowest moving animals? Yeah, he's extremely slow. He'll really? move maybe 15 feet in one minute. 
which is wow. really slow. Yeah, which yeah. really comes in handy in the. Does he like this? Can I put him on a? Should yeah, I put him on a tree? Yeah, he'll go right to that tree there. Just go, oh, yeah. just go. Right next to it. Just go right to the tree. <laughs> there you go. go. Once Harry. he gets a look at it. Oh, there he goes. There, there, there he goes. goes. He's reaching for He's it. Look at him go. Look at him go. Maybe we can run this in slow motion so the people <laughs> don't miss this. All right, there are you there ready, Harry? Go. Harry, Make sure you he's got, got his feet. Yeah, on there. Harry, you got it. Harry, Harry, we only oh, have an hour good. here. He's good. Harry, <laughs> one of the slow. Harry, his feet. Okay, Harry, his yeah, slow down. Don't, don't just run. To hold on. Don't you run? There he goes. <laughs> don't you run? He's really. Yeah, he's good. He's good. Wow, look at him scamper up that wow. tree. <laughs> the word. The word scamper doesn't come to mind. Look at he's, he's got three toes right there. There's three toes. Three toes, toes on the back. One's two on the front. Hence the name. Two on the front. Oh, the two on the front. Two I thought you front. made a mistake. I thought no, I no, caught no, you no, there. No, 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 no. Two yeah. on the front. No, no, really. And uh, look, look at, at him. Hair. What if, a, what if an, an uh, like an enemy comes? Will he, will he just? Well, uh, actually, take when off? that algae and those ferns grow on him, yeah. uh, from being so slow, he's pretty much camouflaged up in the rainforest. So, uh, but if something did spot him, it's curtains. Right. Whoa. <laughs> that's, I don't want to know about that. What else do you have? <laughs> what else do we have? What We've got have? a it's spider it's monkey that we are bringing. A spider monkey coming out this way. Hello. This oh. is Maya. <laughs> this is who? Maya. Maya. Hi, Maya. Now, this is a sweet story here. It had a sad beginning, but a very happy ending. Maya was a pet. <laughs> Look at all. He's getting along <laughs> with the sloth. <laughs> Maya was actually somebody's pet, which is not a good idea in the Eskimo first place. Eskimo kissing a sloth. Oh, he loves it. <laughs> this looks like one of my old show wigs. <laughs> <laughs> And so well, actually, Maya was somebody's pet, which isn't a good idea in the first place. Right, you don't they wanna... actually abandoned her in a dumpster. <laughs> right. But the happy part is we've got her now, and she's got people to take care of her and love her. She is a spider monkey. Right. And the interesting thing about them is this tail here. Look, it's right. got a pad on the bottom of it there. This oh, is called yeah. a prehensile tail, and it can support their entire body weight, as you saw just a little bit earlier. <laughs> Oh, and it seems happy with that. It looks like it's yeah, really... she's fine. Yes. She's just fine. If she she's fine, there. why is she screaming? Oh, why she's not swinging now. I know when Make I scream, it, it means I'm not fine. If I go... <laughs> is that how they she's communicate? Right. What yeah. does that mean? What it's is just that? vocalizing. Just, oh, just vocalizing. ways that they communicate. <laughs> it's my way of saying hello. Hello, it's hello, hello. huh? <laughs> I told him, I just said, watch out for the sloth. <laughs> this might get you, huh? Okay. Well, that's really great. That's yeah. a spider monkey. Yeah. Yeah. He's doing really well. And uh, do, you have another, do you have another animal? We do. You're going to like this one I'm here. I'm going to like this making, one as opposed making... to these that I've hated so far? <laughs> I love these. You'll particularly like this one here. Oh, this is Maya. Everyone likes baby animals. This is a four-month-old Asian small-clawed otter. Which one? Oh, the furry one. The I little one I'm there. looking at him. Oh, that's Alan. Alan. Look how big he is for that's four months. Alan, Alan. 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 keepers from SeaWorld Bush right. Gardens. And where, where's the... Uh, and you have shrimp in here. Yeah, there's shrimp in there. Now, oh, otters are really very otters playful Otters really animals. love the water. They're excellent they? swimmers. They are excellent swimmers. And this Come is their world. natural habitat, I see. Absolutely yeah, water. Yeah. They're found in rivers, lakes, right. and estuaries. Well, that's fine. I just wanted to see. Yeah. And, and she's it. real playful. She's just four months old. Right. And uh, she's really getting used to interacting with people. She's going to be one of the stars of our <laughs> ship rapids. Oh, it's really? a new exhibit yeah, interaction. Moving, moving around the pool there, and you got some shrimp. You got shrimp. Yeah, it's one of the things that they eat. looks like a really bad buffet, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and the otter's there. And, whoa, whoa, oh, yeah. it, it's bark. It go. barked. It kind of barked. She's just vocalized. She's just checking out her surroundings. She's very playful, very inquisitive. Yes. Oh, she has a question? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> They have a very keen sense of smell. I guess so the she question there was, why are you so close to me? <laughs> seems, to be, seems to be loving the water, and you know what? It's amazing how it loves the shrimp. You can see how it just... There we go. Well, she's just a, real, real curious right now. This is fun. And it, uh, can you pet it, or no? Uh, actually, if she'll let me. There you if go. she'll let you. Yeah, I think that goes for any animal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, that's she probably great. I want to thank, thank you so much for being nice here. For and uh, ladies and gentlemen, Chuck Corot from SeaWorld, Bush Gardens. And Dolly, you're going to sing for us next, right? Stay right where you are. Dolly Parton's going to sing for us. I'm Father.